Hello guys, my name is Inu Kupatia. Today I will be discussing about composite design pattern. So, in composite design pattern, a class is going to be getting composed of small, small objects. As I said, in UML composition, the bigger objects will be composed of small, small objects. So, now, in here, in composition design pattern, there is usually a root class which is going to be the top class. Let's think it of a tree, like a tree hierarchy. Now, it is going to be an interface. Now, let's see that the sh shape class is going to be the is going to be the top class, and then we inherit it into the smaller smaller classes and maybe some leaf, leaf classes. So the leaf classes are like the classes which cannot be extended further into the tree hierarchy. Or as we can say, that cannot be composed of any children. So, like suppose there is a point class and there are some other composite classes which may be composed of the same line or the point hierarchy or similar kind of children. Let's say a line is composed of two points and four lines are going to be composed of a rectangle or a square. So now I will show you the code. So as you can see in the top class which is the shape or the component class is composed of point and, and, and the point has the leaf class is the line and the rectangle which is in the composite shapes class now let me show you so as you can see the shape has a parent and the id so we decided to keep an id for each of the shapes so there is and and remove just so that you can add and remove shapes and we can get parent now we can display the ID in the ID of the shape, like the ID of the rectangle or the line or the point. Now here there is the vector. So we use the vector to traverse it. Now here we have made the remove function and the display function. So we use the vector here because to traverse it through so that we can get the display method from the shapes. So here is the add, here is the remove and since this is a leaf class, since point is a leaf class as, as I showed you here, it's a leaf class. So we had actually shown an error right here. As you can see, error, error, this is a leaf class. Adding or removing, same. Now here, we have got the end point, which is going to be the start, end. It's going to be a starting and the end point. So, in a point, there is two parts. One is the starting point and there is the end point. Then we are going to be displaying, like... We are going to be doing the same in all of these. As you can see, we are going to be top, top, right, left and bottom. So as you can see, we made all of this. And so, we name this as L1, L2, L3, L4, L5. So what is L1? L1 is the lines, line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4. And S. S because I as I told you we need to display it. And this point one, point two, point one and point two just to make the lines. So that is composite design pattern by and Jain.